Hey, we got Drew's views here, back for Anna Monday, reacting to an anime on Monday. I'm doing the series Steins Gate right now, and today I'm up to episode 7, which is called Divergence Singularity. So last time was called something about the butterfly effect, which I said at the end I didn't, I mean, they never mentioned that term or anything that I recall, but it was about, uh, the time machine, obviously, and they had a little round table action. Ocarin fancied himself a little bit of a King Arthur. He wanted to call it Nostalgia Drive, which I kind of liked, but they went with D-Mails, which is a little snappier, I guess. So, and they figured out that D-Mails have to be done at, I guess, a certain time of day, and some other factors. There's only like a certain number of characters you can put in in English or Japanese or whatever and they get sent back in time and they're still getting split up or whatever. I think they're going like five days ago. I, I don't know if that's always the case, but assume they'll be continuing the experiments this episode. And also last episode, they got a new lab member, I guess. This girl, um, Moeka, Mocha, I don't know how you say her name exactly, but uh, she's a little quirky like a lot of these characters here on Steins Gate. She doesn't really like to talk. She just likes to send texts, or they, it seems like they call them emails, but I, I would assume they're, they look like text messages and that's how they're kind of functioning, but uh, even when she's in the same room with Okari and whatever, she wants to just text. She wanted to borrow the IBM computer, but uh, he wouldn't let her, and then everyone came in talking about what's going on, so he said, you're the lab member. So I assume she'll be sticking around for that. We don't know where she's from or anything like that still. Still gotta learn more about Karusa Chan, I'm rem remembering her name now. Kar Karasu, downstairs, still eyeing up. Makasa, uh, just thinking she's trouble, obviously. Karasu knows something happened in an alternate timeline or future, whatever the case is. But anyway, let's get into episode seven Divergence Singularity. <laughs> He's saying right arm, is he talking about Daru or his own arm? Okay. <laughs><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> Yeah, so she was talking about mementos or whatever for the pictures the first time she met him in that episode. So that's what I was wondering back then, if she is from an alternate uh, time as well. Oh, I bet he will. Oh, that's his daughter. Did he do anything? <laughs> I don't understand why they put it as DK in the subtitles on this. I thought initially it's to get around copyright or something, but they say it, they clearly say it. <laughs> For the loss, you don't, don't normally see that one. That's more like the butterfly effect thing. You will. That's what a lot of people would do, probably. I'd probably go back and bet on, bet on sports games. And get some money and buy some more microwaves. Is that just him misunderstanding English again? Check your phone. Oh, that's interesting. 
Like CC from Code Gas. And they usually won't mind getting your pictures taken. One week ago, he was ignoring her messages, though, wasn't he? Should say something like Steins Gate wants you to do it or something. Or the organization would hate for you to buy this ticket. But they've already caused some. I still don't know where I came up with this outside Kondra phrase, right? He was just saying it the first episode. Five seconds. But did he do it? So things did change. これ。あの、僕、京馬さんに数字を教えてもらって。俺が。うん。いつ So butterfly effect is they're not out of Dr. Pepper now. Wow. Probably means that it wasn't the first time. Hmm, what was that? Oh, <laughs> Did the dad just leave his daughter here to be babysat by her? That wasn't too smart. Hmm. ちっぷ。洗脳って何何は岡部倫太郎が怖いみたいだね。放電グラグラ揺れるやつさっき一回会ったよね。10分だ。僕は絶対じゃないよ。絶対しない。ね、聞こえてくるって言ったでしょ。
その先にあるのは真の自由ですその壁を越えなければ未来はディストピアとなる未来を変えることそしてその力を持っているのはあなたかもしれない俺が未来をそんなこと今日はあなたに救世主になってほしい Well, so Okarin Hyon Kyoma, the savior of the world.、Uh, I mean, it's possible that, you know, Taito are saying it ends in dystopia every time, but doing these experiments and changing the world lines could be causing that in the first place. You never know. So he's in 2036, he's saying. I guess that makes sense why he said in that one episode he'd never been to the year 2000,、um, which I thought was curious. And he's still able to communicate though, but yeah, I, so I guess I don't really understand that. If he's in a year that's what, 26 years ahead in the timeline of the show, I think it's 2010 on, on the show right now. But he just said that he, they didn't think in his timeline of sending e- emails back to the future or something, so, or back to the past, I mean, so how is he doing it now? I don't know, there's something I'm not picking up on there. Obviously, o k e r i n does have the ability that. Other people seem to not to retain these memories. And in the first episode of the show, he was already doing that, I guess. So he must have already made the, been able to go back,、uh, change the world lines at the start of the show.、Um, that's when he was like walking in the middle of the street or whatever, and all that was happening. No one else remembered stuff, like which part of that was M- Makasa being dead and whatever else it was. And then this time we just saw the. With the lottery thing, they didn't remember the experiment, even though it happened. Whatever the Dr. Pepper showed up, that was the, the big change there.、Um, what's his name? Didn't get the, the lottery ticket, right? I wonder, I mean, that with the message they sent, it didn't seem like o g r i n would just see that and be like, oh, I gotta go tell someone to buy this. But I guess it, obviously it did work, so who knows? Didn't really learn much more about Moeka, the, the newer. Lab member. So far, they seem to mostly be using her for comedy purposes a little bit. Although, her liking to take pictures of everything, maybe that's just part of her, how she tries to experience life.、Uh, not really like living it, but like with pictures and text, emails, whatever. Maybe she's not really from a different timeline. Well, we don't know. There's something more about her we don't know.、Um, Kirisu is definitely, it clearly is from, I mean, it's completely obvious now. And she said something about the brainwashing or whatever the term she used. Looking at into his eyes there, chipped, I think it was. So, like, they put chips in people, and maybe you can see it through their eyes, I guess, in the future to brainwash them. That's what happens. So, yeah, it's interesting how she like, reveals so much stuff that should be obvious that she's from, at, well, at least it's obvious to the viewer that she's from a different world or whatever time, but. She still doesn't completely give it away. Like,、uh, when he's talking about the time machine and stuff, she doesn't say anything specific about it or whatever,、um, or that she's there for that purpose, which I, I assume she is, but、uh, to be close to him, like right under where she can hear everything anyway, it is a complete blind spot of Hoker in that.、Uh, I mean, he kind of picked up on it this time when he could hear Dara upstairs, but.、Um, That he's so worried about organization, all these people hearing him, seeing whatever, taking pictures, but then he just, they just talk in full、uh, view, not view, but in full proximity of anyone outside being able to hear downstairs. And yeah, and then Magasa and、uh, o k e r i n are definitely getting a little closer together. She obviously likes him, maybe not in the sense of romantic or whatever, but likes being with him, even though they argue and he insults her a lot because she didn't want to go back to her hotel or whatever. She'd rather just stay there. Obviously, she's, she's interested in the、uh, experiment too, of course, but. <laughs> Hoin Kyoma is shook. He's got to be the savior, I guess. And I'll find out more about that next time, hopefully. On Steins Gate episode 8. So join me back for that one next time. Please do subscribe to the channel if you like these reactions or some of my other ones. Check those out too. Leave a comment. Do whatever your heart desires. But for now, we're out of time. Peace. <laughs>